Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, Adobe updated Lightroom Classic to version 10. I consider this to be a major upgrade. They have a few new features, but one of those new features, in my opinion, is a major new feature. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about two of the new things that are in Lightroom Classic version 10. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to my website. There you'll find a list of everything that's new and different in this version of Lightroom as, long, as well as the new camera and lens support. Now I'm going to jump right into it and talk about the most significant new feature of this version of Lightroom, and that is color grading. Color grading is on the right-hand panel of the develop module, and it has replaced split toning. But don't worry, if you have a preset that you often use that uses split toning, it translates into the color grading panel fine, and I'll talk about that more in a moment. Now, as far as color grading is concerned, those of you that have graded video know that these three-way color wheels are kind of a standard uh, color grading tool in video grading software. It's not as popular in photography uh, post-processing software, although Capture One has something like that, those, like this, those of you that use Capture One. Now with these color wheels, uh, you'll be able to color tone the midtones, shadows, and highlights independently of one another, unlike split toning where you only could do the shadows and the highlights. Here you could also do the midtones, and it's very, very easy to use. Now, when you first open it, it's going to default to the default to the three-way view. You can see there's the midtone circle, shadows, and highlights. And as you click through, you could go to just shadows if you want, just midtones, just highlights, or global, where you could affect every single pixel. You could just tone your entire image a specific color if you'd like. Now we'll go back to the three-way view and I'll give you a, an overview of how to do this. Now let's say I want to warm the midtones a little bit. Now it's a black and white image, but I want to just add some yellow or orange or something like that into the midtones. So what you would do is you would go to this center circle and as you push it out, you'll start to get a hue and you could choose any hue you like. And the further out you go, you start to affect the saturation of that hue. Now, once you have the circle where you want it as far as saturation is concerned, you could fine tune the hue by this outside circle. So you could kind of just spin this around and kind of find the exact hue you want. Now you could fine, do fine tuned adjustments with the center circle by holding in the alt or option key in, and then you could get kind of micro adjustments as opposed to these faster adjustments when you're not holding in the key. Now, once you have the hue chosen and you have the saturation chosen, you could affect the brightness as well or the luminance value with this slider. And that's something else that what you couldn't do in split toning. So you could make it very bright or very dark. So with that luminance slider, so you have this kind of three way control over those three like parts of the image, midtones, shadows, and highlights. And you know, like I mentioned, it's a lot more versatile than split toning. And I think you'll find a lot more creative possibilities for your processing when you use this type of um, color grading. Now to reset this, you could hold in the alter option key and just click on reset midtones. That will do it. Also a faster way is just double click on midtones and you'll reset it. Now I mentioned that if you have a preset that used split toning it, it translates into the color grading circles. Let's just pick one over here. I'll let me cover over one. Like let's do split tone two. So as I click on that, uh, you'll see that midtones, nothing happened. It's all zeroed out. So it's not using midtones at all. But with shadows, it picked the right hue and saturation. And because luminance wasn't available uh, in split toning, it just zeroes that out. So that's at zero. Could see right here as I hover over it, see that little L up there, that's luminance, that's zero. And same thing for highlights. So it picks the right U and saturation for highlights and zeroes out luminance. So it's, it's you know, just translate that preset fine. Now, as far as these uh, sliders down here, oh, also if you do these presets, um, if you do a preset that you split toning, it will put blending at 100 because that's the equivalent of what it was when you use split toning. But with blending now, it's even more versatile. So you could kind of blend the areas between uh, these three uh, different. Um, let's just do it a little more so it's a little more obvious. 
So you could just blend it a little better. So give it a better look, uh, you know. So if you go too abrupt from maybe a very cool color to a very warm color, you could help blend it with that slider and also balance. It just kind of moves either the um, shadows into the midtones or the highlights into the midtones. And that is similar to the balance slider that was in split toning. So I think you'll agree that uh, color grading is going to be a very welcome addition to Lightroom Classic. Now I'm going to talk about one more uh, feature, a new feature of Lightroom Classic. Again, in the description below the video, I'll have a link to my website where I'll list everything. There's a lot of minor little things they did, like they changed the fonts and things like that. But the other thing is zoom. You know, in the in the past, you could click on the image and zoom in. But over on the left-hand panel, you had some choices to zoom in. Well, they made it a little easier. For example, if you hold in the shift key and then you just drag to the right, you'll zoom in smoothly. Drag to the left, you'll smooth out or zoom out. I'm sorry. So you could see just hold in the shift key and drag left or right. Click on it to fit to screen. Also, if you just want to zoom into a specific uh, place, hold in the command or control key, uh, control if you have a PC, command if you have a Mac, and you could see then you could just draw a square and you could zoom in right on the square. Click again to zoom back out. Over on the left-hand panel at the top of the navigator, they've changed it. Uh, there's a little drop-down for fit or fill. There's also then, if you just want to go to 100%, you can there with with that little uh, click there. In this little drop down, you have zoom amounts, 12% all the way up, well, I should say 6% all the way up to 1,600%. So you have all these different zoom amounts that you could do as well. So they change that. So I kind of like that too. There's many times where I'm looking at noise, I'm trying to get rid of noise and I want to zoom into a specific place. Um, I just like it better. I could just hold the command or control key in and draw a square and zoom right into that spot. So I think that's pretty cool. So those are, to me, two of the more significant uh, new features of Lightroom Classic of version 10. Um, what are your thoughts on this uh, release? Let me know in the comments. Also remember, I'll say it for a third time, sorry to keep repeating myself, there'll be that link in the description below the video. You could check out everything that's new and different in this version, as well as new camera support and lens support. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.